Hello everyone and welcome to Engine SharePoint. I am Bhavna. So in this today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can set up navigation links for hub site in SharePoint Online and Office 365. So in my previous video, I showed you and described all the steps uh, in order to create hub sites in SharePoint Online. So if you are interested to know, uh, I'm going to link that uh, below the description box. You please uh, go and check out and you can learn it. Um, so today I'm going to use the same hub site uh, uh, for creating navigation links. So for that, uh, let's uh, get started. Uh, I have to log into my uh, site first of all. Okay, so this is this was my modern site which I then again um, registered as a hub site. So now. As you can see here, uh, this was the name which I gave uh, to my hub site, my hub, and we have add links nearby. So we'll add some links, quick links. Friends, under site collection, I'm creating sublinks, and uh, uh, this time I'm choosing URLs. So this is my community one site, and I have added the URL here. I want to make this as a sublink. Again, we'll add URL and. add one more of uh, my team site and we'll add this URL okay so now I'll click on save and we'll see how it looks okay so I have had uh, added some headers and some URLs news events projects and under department I have a few more sub departments like HR, security, finance and IT and if you want you can again add a few more sublinks under HR, security, finance and IT and again I have site collections and uh, these are the URLs which shows how many uh, sites are associated in the hub 
community one, my team site and my communication site. A few more so you can uh, edit here if it is your requirement. You can edit some more. It, it's like a mega menu kind of thing. So now, since these sites are like COM1, my team site and uh, uh, my communication site, these three sites are associated with this hub. So now we'll again go and refresh it. So once we refresh it, uh, you can see here under my hub, you can see all these uh, navigations which we added uh, inside the hub. So these links are available to all the site collections and all the associated sites. That means we are sharing some common properties under the hub in a form of navigation links or in a form of mega menu. So I refreshed all three site collections and for all three, now this, uh, this is a common navigation which you can find here. Again, you can click here and you can navigate to these uh, team sites. So, so friends, how easy and fast it is to create navigation or mega menu for hub site so that it uh, shares some common property to all its associated uh, sites. Please do try it and let me know if you have any uh, concerns regarding this tutorial. And please do not forget to subscribe and like this channel so that you can get all the updated videos uh, for the future. Have a nice day and thank you so much.